New tonight, the grief still raw as dozens gather in Providence to remember a young man who drowned a week ago today. 20 year old Joshua Richards family says he died trying to save his friend Tylon Brooks in a West Greenwich pond. Sadly, Brooks also drowned. 12 News reporter Matt Paddock was at tonight's vigil and spoke to Josh Richards family. Matt. Yes, Shannon, the family of Joshua Richards finding the strength to speak with me for the first time tonight, saying they'll remember him as a legend, a hero, someone they say that was larger than life. A sea of support flooding the streets of the capital city tonight as an entire community mourns the loss of 20 year old Joshua Richards. Knowing Josh, uh, he was a dreamer and that's how he connected everybody in our community, uh, no matter what it was. Joshua Richards family putting together a candlelight vigil as hundreds came out to remember a man that they say made an impact on every life he touched. He motivated, he encouraged, and he helped us all be better people. And so this loss is tragic to all of us, but we know we can't grieve, we can't mourn too long, because he wouldn't want that. He would want us to elevate, he would want us to grow and be the best versions of ourselves. And elevate is what the hundreds on Clifford Street did, releasing balloons into the night sky in Joshua's name. Frederick Millay, Joshua's cousin, releasing the first balloon. Calling it a symbolic moment, a final lesson from his younger cousin. As I let it go, I let every bad situation we ever had, I just let it go as well and just try to remember the great things. His aunt, Mon Kanje King, organizing the remembrance. And she says the turnout, while incredible, was expected, calling Joshua a legend, calling him a hero. I know he was very loved and he's, you know, he's, he's a great person. We lost a great one. He's a legend. You know, he did how he was raised. He was saving someone else when he lost his life, and that's how he is. But now as candles line the street he once lived, hundreds of hearts beginning to mend as they said one last farewell to Joshua's voice. Now, both of the families have set up GoFundMe pages to help with funeral expenses, and you can find the link, the link to those on our website at WPRI.com. Live in East Providence, Matt Paddock, 12 News.